gonna keep this one really short because I am freaking tired. I don't know if you guys know what this uh, journey has entailed so far, but um, it's a 14 hour flight to Shanghai. Then from Shanghai, there was a 23 hour layover. So 23 hour layover in Shanghai. I stayed at a uh, Super 8 motel, which surprisingly I actually slept at and, and had a great uh, night's sleep. Uh, then from there, another flight to Bangkok. Honestly, after the 14 hour flight, that four hour flight to Bangkok was nothing. It was a breeze. And, okay, this was the most important thing I wanted to tell you guys. When I was on that, that flight, by the way, little shout out to uh, Boris and Hasname, my two buddies that I came to Thailand with last time. We love this beer. This is uh, Chang. Kind of got a different label on it here, but don't worry, boys, it's not a knockoff. It's the real deal. <sighs> Tastes like a Chang? It is a Chang. Yeah. If you've ever been to Thailand, you know what I'm talking about. Chang is a delicious beer. And um, anyone who's never been to Thailand when you do come, try Chang. You're going to love it. Anyway, where was I? Notice you got to keep a structure with these videos, otherwise uh, you just sound like a rambling idiot. But as I was saying, on the plane ride, um, I happened to be sitting beside a guy who, he's originally from China, but now he lives in Bangkok, and he is an app designer, like apps that you have on your phone. And that was extremely interesting to me. Actually, we kind of kind of hit it off. We had a whole bunch of stuff to talk talk about, really. He's interested in all the same things that I am, which is like business, you know, um, online marketing, travel. Uh, you know, he, he also believes the same mentality that I do in that uh, we should work to live but not live to work <laughs> we were talking about that for a bit um, yeah so we just we hit it off on many levels uh, especially in terms of um, the business talks that we had um, he said that he had actually had a lot of success with uh, drop shipping and um, that's actually what the seminar or conference that I'm going to on February 4th, which is fast approaching, that's in Chiang Mai, uh, that's what the conference is on. It's on drop shipping and being able to work remotely from anywhere in the world. Correction, not just drop shipping, blogging, copywriting, affiliate marketing. The list could go on and on. Uh, I don't want to bore you with a bunch of terms that you may not know. Some of you definitely probably do know what I'm talking about. Anyway, I'm in Bangkok right now, by the way, guys, and, uh, you know, the view, the view here is not crazy, but one thing about Bangkok and one thing about Thailand, it has this sort of, I don't know if it's the heat or, or what it is, but it has this kind of, oh God, can I say the word magical? <laughs> Thailand is kind of a mysterious place, you know? When I look at um, these, these tuk-tuks and, and that on the, on the roads, like, they just, they look like they're out of like the 1970s or something, you know? It's like Thailand has really carried on a lot of old school traditions and I think that's what it is about it that really makes it uh, just kind of nostalgic and yeah, I don't know, I love it. Um, I, I know that a bunch of you actually on my Facebook have been to Thailand. Um, so, <laughs> I mean, feel free to comment and all that. We can have a little discussion. But, um, yeah, it's like the, the trip is, has, it's just starting to kick in. The trip is now taking place, you know, because like when, you, when you're doing the 14 hour flights and, you know, the layovers and all this, it, it's not real yet. 
it's definitely not real um but yeah pretty excited guys uh, i'm gonna leave you with that and i will see you guys soon peace bolton her coming to you from uh bkk again a little early morning flight from bangkok to chiang mai it's gonna be a super short flight it's like an hour and hour and 15 minutes or something like that so that's gonna be great uh, considering that I had the 14 hour flight and then the four hour flight which really to be honest felt like nothing after the 14 hour one now we got a little hour-long flight then I will be in Chiang Mai and I'm gonna stay in Chiang Mai for a couple days no flights which is nice for a change yeah what else hmm yeah that's all for now you know what I lied I'm not done yet I have another point to make something else I want to say solo travel solo travel is definitely gonna be one of the next topics of conversation um, for another video this is just a uh, precursor statement to basically set that up but I have some things to say about solo travel uh, some good things um, what I will say is I definitely didn't know what to expect but uh, you know what so far I dig it